Most of us buy our meat in pre-prepared cuts, but knowing a little bit about where each cut comes from can really help us to prepare, cook and serve it. With the Meat Voucher Scheme, we're encouraging schools to try something a bit different, enhancing the learning experience and allowing pupils to try something new. Meat is composed of three basic materials, water, protein and fat. Now the quantities vary depending on the age of the animal with younger animals having more water and this can make the meat more tender. A carcass of beef, lamb or pork is divided into different cuts. As you can see I've got a selection here in front of me. You might also recognise some of the names from our cuts poster. The front half or the forequarter of a carcass has more muscles and connective tissues which have worked harder resulting in a tougher or less tender meat. So this would include cuts from the neck and shoulder of an animal. These require to be cooked slowly and for longer periods or require some type of treatment such as mincing or marinating to break down the muscle fibres and connective tissues, making the meat more tender. So you'll be familiar with mince, which comes from the neck and shoulder and you would use mince to cook a variety of dishes to make products such as burgers or koftas. The back half or the hind quarter of a carcass contains fewer muscles and connective tissue, so we get more tender cuts of meat. Cuts from the loin and rump you may have heard described as prime cuts, so this is where we get our steaks from. These cuts should be cooked quickly and usually at high temperatures, for example stir frying or grilling to ensure they stay tender and don't dry out. There are other parts of the animal that we can use and these are described as offal, not traditionally a cut, more pieces that we cut away. You'd be familiar with haggis, which is made from liver, lungs and heart. These come from the inside of the carcass and from the outside we get cheek or tail. Although these aren't always the quickest and easiest to cook, they are often the tastiest. One of my favourites is a pie made with ox cheek. We understand the classroom doesn't offer a lot of time to cook with some of the less tender cuts. Perhaps you could consider a lesson plan exploring some of them, discussing the cooking techniques and sample some of the more unusual ones. Why not also try some other methods such as marinating? For inspiration, why not check out our marinated flank steak video too?